In this tutorial, I wanted to create a custom template that I can use as my home page so I can start building out a custom home page for my blog. So if you think about a regular WordPress site, you normally have you know a blog layout, then you have the single post layout, and then you have a page layout. And then if the site's kind of custom, you have like a you know a custom home page, and sometimes even some custom post types. But in this one, I want to start out just building a custom template that I can use use and set as my home page, so I can start building out some elements on it to make my site look you know more custom. All right, so I'm going to go to my theme files. I'm currently using Stratpress, which is my free version of a Bootstrap 4 theme. And what I want to do is just go to this page here, the page template. You can do this in any theme, really, if you go to the your theme files. I'm going to duplicate my page template, file, save as. I'm going to save it in my, create a new folder called templates, create. And then I'm going to say template-home. You can name it really whatever you want and put it in my templates. So that way, as I move forward and I create new templates, they'll all be in this you know, templates directory here. So the last thing I need to do, or one of the last things I need to do, is just tell WordPress about this new template. To do that, I just need to do in the comment section over here, template name. And do home page so you know this comment no longer matters for this page this template is for you know the custom home page so I don't want I'm gonna make this kind of a full page layout so you can see here that I have this sidebar what I'm gonna do is just have the footer and then I'm going to close out the row and close out the container. Always like to do comments so I, if I'm looking at the code, I can determine, you know, where the divs close. All right, so that that should work for me there. So I have a template. Put the template name up in the comment section. Remove the sidebar so it's full width. So now I just need to go to my pages, all pages, either you can create a new page or I already have this home page created. I'm going to go over here, look in my template area over here and set it to home page. So update that. Now I can navigate directly to this URL and see my new home page. But what I want to do is um, go into the settings, reading, and then set it as a static page. This home right here, save changes. So if I go to my dev URL, it's my new home page. What I'll probably want to do is go to my appearance menus and create a new menu area. Remove some of these. I won't waste your time here, but I set it to the primary location. Save that. So now I have my menu up here. And I can go, you know, back to my blog, see my blog section. So since I set the um, home page to a static page, I need to say what page I want my blogs to be displayed on. So I want that to be on my blog page. So again, I have my custom home page. If I go to blog, you can see on my different blogs, that was uh, when we started this tutorial, the home page of my blog. All right, I got, got that created now. I'm going to start uh, adding elements to my home page to make it look more custom in the next tutorials. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.